this is my second example of circuit contains dependent source and I have to use the superposition theorem see we have to calculate the current through 6 ohm resistor using superposition theorem this is the 6 ohm resistor and I have to calculate the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor see this circuit contains two independent voltage sources 15 volt and 10 volt and a current dependent current source when a circuit contains a dependent source and I have to apply superposition theorem to calculate the voltage or current parameters we can proceed in two ways first one is that by treating the dependent source as an independent source by treating the dependent source as an independent source that means while keeping the independent sources active I will replace that dependent source with either open circuit or short circuit depending on the whether the dependent source is a voltage source or current source and I will keep the dependent source active separately likewise our independent sources so when we will use this method if the circuit contains a dependent current source the circuit ha has to contain dependent current source or a current dependent voltage source it is convenient to use this method and in this method we will use the solving method of series parallel circuit to calculate our required voltage or current parameters and second one is that by keeping the dependent source intact or unaltered that means I will not treat the dependent source as an independent source and while keeping the independent sources active I do I cannot replace the dependent source with an open or a short circuit and I don't have to keep the dependent source active separately when we will use this method if the circuit contains voltage dependent voltage source if the circuit contains voltage dependent voltage source and in this method we will use the mesh or nodal analysis to calculate our voltage or current parameters and this statement is taken from this reference electric circuit and signals page number 98 writer Nasir H. Saba see in our above circuit the circuit contains a current dependent current source as a circuit contains a current dependent current source we will proceed our uh, rule number one that means I will keep this dependent source active separately like our independent sources and I will replace that current source with an open circuit while keeping other independent sources active now let me solve this circuit for this current I at first I will keep this 10 volt independent source active as I am considering this dependent source I will replace this 3i current source with an open circuit and this independent voltage source with a short circuit so for the 10 volt source our circuit will look like this let's say the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor for this 10 volt is I prime I will calculate I prime using just simple Ohm's law I know that value of total supply voltage 10 volt and with respect to this terminal and this terminal the total resistance of the circuit is 8 plus 6 14 ohm and as the current is flowing in this direction therefore our I prime will be in this direction okay I prime will be 10 volt divided by 14 ohm which will give us 0.71 ampere in my second case I will keep this 15 volt independent voltage source active therefore this dependent source as it is considered as an independent source will be replaced by an open circuit that means I can remove this current source from our circuit see as the current source is removed from here this branch gets opened that means I can remove the entire branch from our circuit and this independent voltage source will be replaced by a short circuit now let me do that therefore this will be our circuit for this 15 volt source for this 15 volt source the current will be flowing in this direction therefore the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor is I double prime I double prime will be equal to as this is as this is a series circuit the total current that will be flowing in the circuit will be same therefore I will calculate R I double prime by using simple ohm's law total supply voltage divided by the total resistance with respect to this terminal and this terminal and that resistance is RT 15 by 14 
8 plus 6 will be 14 ampere so I will get 1.07 ampere and see the direction of current of I double prime is same as our I prime at last I will keep this 3 I current source active as I am treating this as an independent current source therefore this 15 volt will be replaced by a short circuit and this 10 volt will be replaced by a short circuit therefore our circuit will look like this see I have replaced that 15 and 10 volt source with short circuits now I have to calculate the current that is flowing through this 6 ohm resistor for this 3 I current source so to calculate the current at so to calculate the current through this path see the current that is entering at this point is 3i but some portion of this 3i will be going in this direction and some portion will be going in this direction let's say if i call this resistor as r1 and this resistor as r2 when we have to calculate the current through a branch between through a branch containing two parallel resistors therefore I have to take the resistor of opposite branch let's say the current that is flowing through this R1 is I1 therefore I will take the resistor or opposite resistor of opposite branch and divide this that resistor with the sum of R1 and R2 this is our special current divider rule and multiply that with total supply voltage see I have to calculate the current through this 6 oh 6 ohm resistor and the direction of current I triple prime will be in this direction which I have indicated here as I will calculate the current through this 6 ohm resistor I will take the resistor of opposite branch 8 divided by 8 plus 6 into the value of supply current that will be 3i from which I will calculate our I triple prime will be 1.71i see previously our I, I prime was flowing in this direction I double prime was also flowing in this direction but our I triple prime is flowing in this direction therefore to calculate the current by using superposition theorem I have to add the currents of the same direction and subtract that sum with the opposite current see I will be equal to I prime plus I double prime minus I triple prime I prime was equal to 1.07 I double prime was equal to 0.71 I triple prime was 1.71 I from which I can calculate if I take this 1.71 I in the right side I will get 2.71 I if I take this 1.71 in the left side I will get 1.71 I will get 2.71 I and in the right side I will get 1.78 from which I can calculate our I will be equal to 0 0.656 ampere and this is our answer the current that is flowing our through our 6 ohm resistor.